Вітаємо вас, дорогі глядачі, на телемережі «Контакту». І сьогодні маємо приємність вітати радника міста Месосага, пані Діпіку Дамерля, яка хоче бути мером міста. So, Діпіка, welcome to our show. We understand you're now a, a counselor at, uh, in the city of Mississauga, but we know you previously in a person as a minister in the Ontario government. So, uh, Deepika, welcome to our show, and maybe you could tell us uh, why you would like to be uh, the mayor uh, of uh, Mississauga. Dobro dan, and uh, thank you so much, Yuri, for having me here today on your show. And uh, I just want to uh, begin by thanking all the uh, listeners for tuning in as well. I'm running to be the next mayor of Mississauga, and I have a very clear vision, a city of opportunity, that is livable and affordable. And what does that mean? It means that law and order is restored. It means that we can once again build more housing so that housing becomes affordable. But with growth, we have to manage the growth so that congestion does not take place. So the three things that I really wanna focus on is crime, reducing crime and restoring law and order, we know we need to build more homes because there's a housing shortage. We're going to build more homes. We're going to build them faster and cheaper. And the third piece is with growth, services have to keep up. Infrastructure has to keep up so that we do not get congestion. And my bold, and I have some bold ideas to get there. Now, uh, it, it always uh, seemed to us that Mississauga was a very well-run place, especially uh, under the tutelage of Hazel McCallion for so many, many years. Now, you do mention crime, you do mention uh, housing, and you do mention uh, congestion. Uh, how, how, how can you fix all those three? And uh, could you tell us why you consider that those issues to be a problem in the first place? Yeah. So, you know, uh, I always say that when you have law and order, you're more than halfway there. And if you have no law and order, nothing else matters. So law and order in any place in the world is the most important thing. I don't need to tell your listeners that we have a big problem in auto theft. People just don't feel safe about that. We have to solve it. Some of the issues only the federal government can solve. I don't know what the delay is, but we know what the solutions are. And as mayor, I will continue to fight for those solutions. You read the solutions are twofold. Stop the export of stolen cars from our ports. And something's wrong when somebody who steals a car only gets three to six months in jail. Fix the criminal code. You do these two and you'll start to see auto theft come into control. I've been pushing for these changes for a long time. But as mayor, there is one more thing that I would like to do. And that is, I am going to give a $10,000 reward for a tip that leads to a conviction. Not any tip. The tip has to lead to the thief going into jail. And the reason I'm doing this is very simple. This is organized crime. And once we can start people to give information on the organized crime, two things will happen. One, it becomes easier to solve. And second, it is sending a clear message to everyone, stay out of Mississauga. If you want to steal a car, stay out of Mississauga because we are going to go after you because we have this incentive system. So these are some ideas that I have to uh, around crime. The other thing I want to do, Yuri, believe it or not, in Mississauga, we only have two big police stations and then one, I think, just one community station. We're a big city. We need more police stations. I don't know what happened, why we don't have uh, police stations. We used to have community policing stations. I want to bring them back. Uh, to what extent uh, housing uh, and uh, congestion that you mentioned, how, how, uh, how are they related to city issues as opposed to them being uh, resolution, you know, problems that the federal government or provincial government have to resolve? 
You know, uh, many things, of course, have many levels of government, but at the end of the day, the congestion and housing, uh, the city has a big role to play. So we need to build more housing because right now, young families cannot afford to live in house uh, in Mississauga. And a city without young people, come on. That's we need the energy. We need all uh, we need all ages. We definitely want to make sure that young families can continue to live in Mississauga. So we need to build more housing. We just need to build it the right way, the smart way so that we don't have too much congestion. So what I'm thinking of, Yuri, is to focus much of the new growth along our transit corridors. And what that does is uh, it reduces the number of cars that you need to use. So instead of needing two cars, people might need only one car and that way you reduce congestion. So smart growth is about giving people multiple ways to move around in Mississauga, not just the car, to be able to walk to places because we build walkable neighborhoods, to be able to take transit, to be able to take other modes of tra uh, transport, and of course the car. So, you know, it's just about giving people more choices so that we don't become uh, congested. Uh, that's a big part of my plan. But yes, if we want how homes to become more affordable, we need to build more homes. Okay, Deepika, thank you very much for uh, joining, uh, joining us here. Uh, we wish you all the best. And uh, we'll, we'll see what reaction is from our viewers and we'll pass uh, those reactions back on to you as soon as possible. So thank you so much. Thank you. I look forward to hearing. But yes, you know, safety is number one, affordable housing, growth without congestion. And I didn't say one thing, Yuri, one of the things I am going to fight for is a new deal for Mississauga. If we want to keep taxes affordable in Mississauga, Mississauga needs a new deal. Toronto got a new deal, $1.2 billion in funding from the Ontario government. Ottawa just got a new deal, 500 million and change for their city. It's Miss Saga's turn now. We are Ontario's third largest city. We need a new deal. As mayor, that's a priority that I want to get done. Because if we can get that new deal, we can keep taxes low.